right so we're gonna go ahead and get started so this is my fro and I'm just putting water on it to loosen it up a bit and I am starting off on her dirty hair <laughs> you don't have to do this style on clean hair and I'm just gonna take my pick and pick out my fro I'm gonna be using some eco styler gel you can use whatever kind you like and I'm literally just gonna smooth my hair up to the top now as you guys can see I have a super short TWA as you guys know um, so yeah so I'm just gonna smooth the hair going upward because that is where I'm going to place my puff I'm gonna take my brush and brush my hair going upward of course and you have to be generous with the gel because with my hair if I don't it will keep curling up and falling back down and I need it to stand up especially because I cannot put my hair in a ponytail so I'm literally just slicking my hair up to the top of my head Next I'm going to take some got to be glue gel and I'm going to put that on my hair about that much but I'm not going to put it on my hairline do not put it on your hairline just focus it on the top part of your hair this is just going to ensure that your hair stays up because like I said before you can't put it up into a ponytail so nothing is going to hold it together but these hair products okay <laughs> but these gels gonna go ahead and check the back of my neck to make sure everything is sleek and slick how I want it and I like to smooth it up with my hands and then I'm just gonna take some got to be glue free spray now this is optional you don't have to do this but um this is just gonna make sure my hair is in place honey and it's gonna be nice and slick and sleek and I'm just gonna smooth it out with my hands and then go ahead and wrap my hair up and sleep with it like this overnight want to make sure your hair is completely dry guys before applying your puff okay so this is the next day and this is how my hair is looking it's sleek and slick it is intact it's looking so good I love it I love it and this is what the middle looks like because that is where the puff is going to go so I'm gonna take some more equal solid gel and I'm gonna lay my baby hairs down that's why I told you guys not to put the got to be glue on there because your edges will be rock hard and yeah if you want to lay your edges down you can so I'm just gonna apply some edge control over that to make sure everything holds and is in place I will link the puff that I use in the description box below but as you guys can see this puff has two combs and a drawstring so there's a method going around where you put a braid in the middle of your head and then you go ahead and attach your ponytail or puff like that but that is not necessary if you do not know how to braid so as you guys can see where my hair is still like an afro in the middle and not slicked up I'm gonna apply the combs there so I put the comb through the front and the back and it is not irritating my scalp or anything like that you don't want to dig it into your scalp you're literally just putting it in the hair and then I'm just pulling a drawstring even though the drawstring isn't attached to much and then I'm just gonna wrap the drawstring around so once I wrap the drawstring around you want to take closed bobby pins the ones that are closed not the ones that are open and you want to just apply them to the puff and attach them to your hair so I do have enough hair to where the bobby pins will hold between the puff and my actual hair to make sure that it is secure you do not want to use the open bobby pins because those aren't going to be as secure with super super short hair like these ones don't use them <laughs> As y'all can see, the puff is in place. You can dance all night. Just don't get into a fight. Don't be knucking and bucking. <laughs> so this is a puff from all angles. I just love it so much. It is so cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all on my next one. Bye.